Hello everyone, I'm Kuhea Paraquelis reporting from Waikapu, Maui. We're here at the fifth annual Maui Ag Festival. It's a great event today. We're here to learn about food sustainability and locally grown produce. And this is such an important thing here on Maui and in Hawaii where we're bringing in more than 90% of our food in off of containers off the boat. And so we're here to learn about and appreciate locally grown produce and products. And here we have live entertainment, we've got food tasting, a lot of vendors here who grow their own produce and make great products. And it's a great way to appreciate what we can do here and get back to our, our farming and our traditional Hawaiian practices. And so stick with us, we're gonna show you what's here here at the Maui Ag Festival 2012.
These lovely ladies are both our Bahine and our gracious from the 2012 Maui Ag Festival here in Waikapu, Maui. And I'm standing here with Warren Watanabe, who is the president or executive director of the Maui County Farm Bureau. Hi, Warren. Hi. So you are the mastermind behind this Ag Fest, which is a hugely popular event here in Maui. Tell us about how it got started. Well, it got started on about five years ago. And we wanted to bring a purely agricultural event to Maui. Uh, Maui has always been an agricultural island. And so we wanted to revive that and get the public involved and, you know, have a better understanding with the public. Uh, with agriculture lately, a lot of people have a disconnect. So we wanted to re really do that and, you know, get, the, again, the public involved. And there's no uh, more time that has uh, greater urgency than now with the price of food and fuel going up and uh, just needing greater sustainability and food security. Um, something that I heard earlier today, um, this is a great place to learn and taste really good food, but that the average age of a farmer here in Maui is 65 years old. That's pretty scary. Yes, it is. And, you know, for us, and that's why we do also do an Ag in the Classroom program. And it's a uh, program geared to the second grade level students. And it's to introduce them to just growing things and knowing how plants work. And by giving it a basic understanding, hopefully they will choose a career in agriculture, which, which encompasses a very wide range from production agriculture, from farming, ranching, to culinary arts, you know, and so it's very diverse. Well, this festival is hugely successful. Um, it's so many people. What is the average number of people that come to the Ag Festival? 
Um, we're, the average lately has been about 7,000. Um, we're hoping for even more this year. And so hopefully we'll um, every year hope to get bigger and better. Well, for Maui, that's a huge number. And so tell us about all the different things that uh, people can see if they come to the Ag Festival. Well, the featured um, event is, of course, our Grand Taste Education, where we partner 12 chefs and farmers. But also we have a tent dedicated to education. And again, I mentioned the Ag in the Classroom. That's part of it. Um, we also partner with MEDB on an internship program and education of high school teachers to get them exposed and to understand agriculture. We're trying to do a five fifth grade program, um, similar to what they do on Oahu and Kauai. Um, we have a wellness stand. We have also um, a flower competition. We're trying to highlight flowers this year. And it's something we want to emphasize. Agriculture is not just not food production. It encompasses a whole diversity from you know, landscape plants, flowers, uh, vegetables, livestock. And we want to support all of that. And there's a lot more to locally grown produce and livestock than just uh, the availability of food, but nutritional value, can you speak to that? Well, I, again, you know, growing, uh, knowing and understanding the, you know, the properties of food, the nutritional value. I mean, you keep hearing, you know, weekly, I guess, you know, from FDA, uh, CDC, you know, the, the nutritional value of crops. And, you know, we've always known, like, for instance, cold crops, you know, they're cancer uh, fighters and those kind of things, antioxidants. So, yeah, and, you know, the local product adds to the freshness. It's definitely fresher because you don't have to ship it to get here. And if you don't believe me, the best way to find out is to come to this uh, Grand Taste Education Station where you can taste all kinds of fabulous food that you would not, you would not believe is grown here. Right, correct. And so, you know, it is, again, a very diverse, you know, but also we want to emphasize that, you know, for a lot of the products, uh, for the farmers, they need to grow in volume also. I mean, we have our specialty products, but we also have volume products. So, you know, we can sell to the Safeway, Supply, Costco's, and again, to reduce the imports. Well, thanks so much for talking with us, and congratulations on another great, successful Maui Ag Festival. Thank you very much. All right, and coming back to you with more from the Maui Ag Festival 2012. reporting from the Maui Ag Fest 2012. It's a beautiful breezy day here in Maui and we're here at the education tent as well as the farmers market so we're really excited to come in here. We're going to show you all the vendors who are uh, producing wonderful local products that are available here in Maui and there are also a lot of organizations here that have some education to share about uh, why agriculture on Maui and in Hawaii is so important and um, as well as uh, what it takes to be a farmer here. So let's come in and check it out.
here today. There are a lot of different areas. <laughs> <laughs> you guys step up here. <laughs> 